everyone. Thank you for joining us for our story today. And today our story is called How Santa Got His Elves. It's written by E.J. Sullivan and illustrated by Ernie Eldridge. I hope you enjoy the story. How Santa Got His Elves. Once upon a time, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus lived all alone at the North Pole. Santa made all the toys by himself in his workshop. It was hard work making all those toys for all the good boys and girls every year. You need to find some help, Mrs. Claus told Santa. So Santa went looking for toy makers to help him. He went to the city first, but people just stared at him. And it says, wanted expert toy makers to help Santa Claus at the North Pole. He went to the country. He went to the mountains. He went to the seashore. He went to the deepest part of the jungle, to the driest part of the desert, and he sailed the seven seas. Boy, he really went looking, didn't he? But nowhere on earth could Santa find anyone to help him make all the toys for all the good girls and boys. So he went back to the North Pole. He didn't have much time left before Christmas. Get him walking across the snow. Santa worked harder than ever, but when Christmas Eve came, he barely had enough toys. He had to load up his sleigh anyway, if he was going to make his deliveries before Christmas morning. The sun was coming up on Christmas Day when Santa reached the last house. He was so tired when he finished delivering his toys that he didn't have the strength to fly home to the North Pole. I wonder what he'll do. So Santa landed his sleigh in a pretty little woods, led the reindeer loose to graze, and lay down to take a nap under a gnarled old tree. Santa didn't know a family of elves lived in a hollow of the tree. While he was sleeping, the elves poked their heads out curiously. That's Santa Claus, said a smart little elf named Elden. He's sound asleep. Santa slept and slept. Days went by. Then weeks, then months. The elves decided they better wake Santa Claus up. Eldon, who was also the bravest elf, jumped up and down on Santa and tickled his nose with a feather. But Santa only snored louder. We'd better get Santa. We'd better get started on the toys ourselves, said Eldon. By the time Santa wakes up, it might be Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness, do you think he could sleep that long? The elves got busy. They made dolls, they made skates, they made sleds and whistles and marbles. They made toy boats and trains and cars. They made everything a good boy or girl could want. Elves are very clever and very handy, you know. And by Christmas Eve, all the toys were made, which was good because Santa Claus was still asleep. That is until Mrs. Claus came stomping through the woods. At last, she shouted, I've been searching the whole world for you, Claus. And she shook him awake. Santa loaded up the toys, hitched up the reindeer, hopped on his sleigh with Mrs. Claus and took off but not before inviting Eldon and all the other little elves to come to the North Pole and make toys forever after. And to this day, the elves make all good boys and girls happy every Christmas, but no one is as happy as Mrs. Claus. I guess she's happy to see that her husband isn't working quite so hard. And that is how Santa got his elves. I hope you enjoyed the story today. Keep reading great stories. Keep spreading good cheer for the holiday season. Have a great day, everybody. Keep breathing. Keep smiling.